Let's learn how to rearrange complex equations. For example, sine x is 0 0.7 exponential minus pi k. We're going to make k the subject. To make k the subject here, we're going to have that sine x is on this side. 0 0.7 is multiplying exponential. On the other side, it's going to divide. Now, we have exponential minus pi k on the other side. What we actually want is to isolate k. But the k we want to isolate is enclosed or held by exponential in mathematics. The natural log of x is the same thing as log x of base e. The natural log of x, which is also this, do not agree with exponential in mathematics. Whenever you want to eliminate natural log in an equation, you are going to introduce exponential. And whenever you want to eliminate exponential in an equation, you introduce natural log. For example, if I have exponential x and I introduce the natural log, natural log very close to exponential neutralizes exponential for you to have x. What we're going to do in this equation is to take the natural log of both sides so that this natural log will eliminate exponential and minus pi k will be free. That is, we're going to take the natural log of both sides. And I'm going to have that the natural log of sine x over not 0.7 this will be enclosed in a bracket because everything here, we're taking the natural log. And on the other side, we're also going to take the natural log of exponential minus pi k. Because this natural log is close to this exponential, they will neutralize each other according to the law of mathematics. Now, on this side, I'm left with minus pi k. And on this side, I have the natural log of sine x over 0 0.7. I need just only k on this side. Hence, I'm going to have k. On this side, I have the natural log of sine x over not 0.7 in a bracket. Minus pi will move across. And because it's multiplying, on the other side, it's going to divide. K is now isolated. This is our answer. K can be written as minus pi, the natural log of sine x over 0.7 and this becomes our answer making k the subject in this equation you can check out this video here for more problems on rearranging complex equations if this video was helpful feel free to click the like button. Also, subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video lesson.